attempt again to wrap up the series entitled The Abundant Life. Somebody shout unto the Lord if you want an abundant life. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know what? N noise is never going to startle God. Thank you, Lord. You know, there is, there is really help in the house right now. And, and to know and understand that is so key. It is so key. Our subtitle of today's message is Don't Limit God. I'm going to read out of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 4 and 5, because this is my heart's desire in each chance I have to bring the word of God before God's children. It says, and my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of spirit and of power, that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Family, you got to know that it is never going to be about what a man says that's going to bring freedom to your life. It is never going to be man's power. It is only by the Spirit of God that you and I can begin to flow in the freedom that Jesus died for us to flow in. Bow your heads and close your eyes and let your hearts agree with me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your supernatural power that is flowing right now in this hour. Father, give us insight and supernatural knowing. Thank you for giving us all eyes to see and ears to hear. Thank you for utterance. Thank you for the miraculous power flowing, showing us in the spirit realm, crystal clear, what you have for us. I pray that every scale is falling off of every eye. I come against any secular input in our perspectives. Father, make us skillful in the spirit realm. We desire to grow and to develop. We don't want to remain the same. We don't want a, another service. We want an encounter with our maker. We don't want to settle for less. We choose right now to tap into your very best. Help us. Give us grace for the place that we are right now, the place you've called us to. Holy Spirit, emphasize the right. Illuminate, fine-tune the voice of our shepherd so that we could hear from heaven and impact the earth. We boldly declare that your kingdom come, your will be done as it is in heaven, right here on the earth, right here in this moment. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for the anointing that is present to destroy every yoke. Father, I yield to you and your ways right now. Think through my mind. Speak through my mouth. Thank you for divine utterance and revelation to be given to me to flow into the lives of these here, your precious people. Father, help me to minister with the ability that you've given. Thank you, Lord, for destiny, hope, faith, and peace rising now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for it. We believe it, and we receive it. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. amen. Don't Limit God is our, our subtitle. You know, 
Word Life was founded in order to empower people to live the life that we see in the Word of God. Every victory that you see in the Word of God, you can have in your life. Come with me as we open up to Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. We have to make a decision, family. We have to choose overflow. We have to choose his way. We have to choose his righteousness. It will always be a choice. The Holy Spirit will never attack you and make you do anything. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 says, but seek first. When do you seek it? When you're all out of options and nothing else seems to be working? First. Somebody say that. First. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, not what your friends say, not what your parents say, not what your peers say, not what he says, not what she says. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added. You know what all means in the Greek? All. Do you realize that nothing will lack in your life if you live your life according to the word of God? Family, everything that we've ever put on the back burner for God comes back a hundredfold. Everything. There is no such thing as outgiving God. It doesn't matter what you lay down for the Lord, it will be restored and given back to you over and over again. We have to allow our belief system to line up with our actions. When we do that, fruit will be the result. Fruit that show up in your life and fruit that remains. Family, God desires to add to you today. What he's asking of us is to put them first, to make them priority. This is not time to live on autopilot. This is not a time where we do business as usual. This is not a time we just float downstream and hope for the best. God is asking you and I to rise up and tap into the, to the deeper things of God. Raise your hand if you're born again. The Spirit of God dwells on the inside of you. There are no mysteries that are withheld from you. There is no such thing as heavenly secrets from a believer, from a child of God. It's time to walk in a higher flow. It's time for you and I to, to desire more from the spirit realm. It's not okay to just have a glimpse. It's time to function in the things of God. It's time for the spirit realm to be made normal. It's time for you and I to seek God like never before and begin to have the answers and the solutions to everything. You know, the wisdom of God is available for each and every one of us. God has given all of us a measure of grace to finish. God is the author. And what's it say? and the finisher. God didn't start something in your life that he's not going to complete. God didn't call to call you out to watch you fail. Those deeper things that are on your heart, God intends to bring them to fruition. God desires to use you to do exactly what he said he'd do in your life. The ministry in your heart the world is crying out for. He desires to show you the path step by step. He desires to usher you right in the center of his will. Will you follow him? Will you choose him over the noise of the world? Will you choose him over your, your business, your career, your job, your family. You know, your family is an awful replacement for God. You know, there is no good idol. Anything that you and I have put in front of God is a horrible replacement. 
Somebody say amen to that because it's the truth. Family, I promise you, Matthew 6, is for you. God knew exactly what he was saying when he inspired the writer to write that. It is for you today. God desires to get the all things to you. He, desire, he desires to add to you today. We need to be reminded that there is more with us than that are against us. We need to be reminded of where we are, the, we're the head, we're not the tail. We are the victorious ones. We have overcame every attack of the enemy. Look at somebody and say, you win. Look at somebody else and say, you win. Family, hear this. No matter what the opposition, your victory is bigger. It doesn't matter how the enemy comes at you, your victory is bigger. You have abundant life. Let's go to John chapter 10, 10. I'm going to read it out of the Amplified. Healing is here. If you need healing in your body, you're going to receive it today. John chapter 10 and verse 10 in the Amplified, it says, The thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. Do you understand that we are supposed to enjoy life? Look at your neighbor and give them a smile offering. You're, you're supposed to, you know what, if, if that feels weird to you, we got to make some changes. You, you, you need to know that the fruit of joy on the inside of you can come out at any time. We need to know and understand that it's a good thing to have God in your life. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 in the Passion Translation says, Yes, God is more than ready to overwhelm you with every form of grace so that you will have more than enough of everything. Family, open your heart and receive the word of God. God is not withholding anything from you. God desires for you to have every form of grace so that you could have more than enough of everything. Every moment in every way, he will make you overflow. What's it say? What's that say? It's with lack, with a little bit, with abundance. Family, the abundant life is the life that Jesus died for you to have. He will make you overflow with abundance in every good thing you do. Your abundant life has been bought and paid for. The promises of God are pursuing you. You realize goodness and mercy is stalking you? You realize that? God is going out of his way to get goodness and mercy into your life. Steve, Tim, Tess, Donnie. God is going out of his way, Aaliyah, to get goodness and mercy to you. Our role, it says, be it, be it unto me. Be it unto me. Lord, I accept your blessings. I accept your mercy. I accept your goodness. What you have spoken, I receive it. God is a faithful finisher. He has every form of grace to help you finish your race. 
abundant life is available right now. Like curbside, waiting for you. All you got to do is pull up and, and pick it up. Abundant life has been made available. Everybody take a deep breath. You know what that means? That means God is not done with you. It means the purpose that God has for you, the plan that God has for you is alive and well. God has not taken the promises back. He has not taken the giftings or the assignments back. The breath that you have in your lungs is the very testament that God is not done with you. He will see it through. You know why that's so important? Because so many times we will begin to identify with the hurts, the hang-ups, the faults and the failures. So many times we will attach our lives to what went wrong. You know, it's going to require you and I looking into the word of God, the only place where truth resides. You are not your emotions. You are not your upbringing. You are not your past. You are who God created you to be. Kai, God has been speaking to you. God has been, been, been calling unto you. And there are some things that are unclear. And, and God is asking you to set some time aside so you can really hear in your inner ear to hear what, he, what it is that he's saying. There is a direction that he's calling you into, and it's going to require you pushing things aside to hear exactly what it is that he is saying. The things in the natural will take you down a path that is not of God, family, and it's so important that we separate ourselves unto him to hear what it is that he is saying. What he has for you is good. What he has for you is abundance. It is over and above. It's more than you could ever handle. If we don't separate ourselves to hear what he is saying, if we miss it, if we get set back, it attacks our identity. And what God is saying to you today is don't separate your identity from who he's called you, who he's created you. Don't add up what's gone wrong to who you are. It's a lie. It is not too late, Jerry. Everything that God has promised is going to manifest in your life. And it's important that we settle that, family. The word of God is the truth. Every fact that is in your life is subject to change. Every financial setback, every financial issue, every physical issue, every emotional issue is subject to change. The word of God is the truth. The word of God is what always remains. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Family, it's so important that we open our hearts to that truth God is trying to, uh, trying to help somebody in here today. Those of you who are watching online, God is speaking to you today. God is, is trying to steer you. God is trying to make a mid-course correction in your life for good. Not for lack or harm. He's not trying to keep anything from you, family. His goal is to add all things to you. But we have to choose him. We, we, we have to know 
that he knows he can do our lives better than we ever could. Do you believe that? We have to trust him even when we don't understand. Even when we don't get it, we got to allow Proverbs 3, 5 to ring true in our hearts. We have to choose not to lean on our own understanding. We have to choose to trust the Lord in everything. Look at somebody and say, trust him in everything. Trust him in everything. Family, there is no ROI in the flesh. None. The flesh doesn't even profit us a little bit. Don't lean, don't trust your future to your flesh. Don't trust your future to your know-how, your mind, your upbringing. Don't trust your future to your experience. Come with me to Galatians chapter 5 and verse 6. Every decision we've ever made in the flesh was a mistake. Every decision we've ever made in the flesh was a setback. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 6, we're going to read it in the Passion Translation. It's going to be on the screen. Let's put our eyes on that. Let's read that together. Ready? Read. When you're joined to the anointed one, circumcision and religious obligations can benefit you nothing. All that matters now is living in the faith that works and expresses itself through love. Y'all did horrible. We're going to do that again. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do that again. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I, I, I apologize. Forgive me. Y'all didn't do horrible. <laughs> we, go, we are going to read it again, though. Are y'all ready? Are we ready? Ready? Read. Ooh, y'all sound good. Keep reading. Nothing. All that family. Religion is never going to produce life. Religious obligations and duties and stuff that we think feels right is never going to produce life. And we're talking about our series is abundant life. There are things that we're going to just have to cut off. Can I just be honest with you? There are some people in your life, there's some stuff in your life you're just going to have to cut off. Because religion, if... You and I want abundant life. Raise your hand if you want abundant life. Family, don't waste time with religion. Let the anointed one add to you. Commit to God's life-giving words for you. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 says, My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes, keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Healing resides in the word of God. Invest your focus in the word. His words produce abundant life inside of you. Don't limit God. Choose to be empowered. Let's go to Romans chapter 8, verse 26 and 27. I'm going to stick with the Passion Translation for this one. Choose to be in power. When you hear that, what do you hear? Do you, do, you, do, you, do you hear a part to play? It says, choose to be empowered. Make a decision to allow the word of God, the spirit of God, to empower you. Romans 8, 26 and 27 says, and in a similar way, the Holy Spirit takes hold of us. Raise your hand if you want the Holy Spirit to take hold of us. Dear God, we want family, you and I need the Holy Spirit 
to take hold of us, to take hold of our decision-making process, to take hold of our insight. We need the Holy Spirit to take hold of us. It goes on to say, in our human frailties, to empower us in our weakness. Raise your hand if you ever felt weak. If you ever felt weak, the Holy Spirit is made available in those times to empower us. For example, at times we don't even know how to pray. It says, or know the best thing to ask for, but the Holy Spirit rises up within us to super intercede on our behalf. On whose behalf? Please let that set in. All the Holy Spirit is after is what's best for you. The Holy Spirit rises up within us to supersede on our behalf, pleading to God with emotional sighs too deep for words. Verse 27 says, God, the searcher of the heart, knows fully our longings, yet he also understands the desires of the Spirit because the Holy Spirit passionately pleads before God for who? For us. His holy ones. Look at your neighbor and say, you are his holy one. Do you realize that's talking about you? Never again allow the enemy to beat you up and tell, and tell you about what you don't have, what you can't do, who you're not. The word of God is calling you his holy ones in perfect harmony with God's plan and our destiny. Verse 28 says, so we are convinced that every detail of our lives is continually woven together for good. For we are his lovers who have been called to fulfill his design purpose. Family, you've been called to finish. You've been called to fulfill God's plan for your lives. Don't limit God in your prayer life. Don't limit the power of God to your understanding. Look at your neighbor and say, you can do better than you. <laughs> you know, what a powerful insight. Every time we've felt inadequate, every time we felt like we weren't able to go on, to keep pushing, doesn't stop us because we can do better than us. Give your prayer life over to the Holy Spirit. Stop praying according to you. I said that last week. You are not your past failures. You may have made a mistake, but you are not a mistake. Open your heart and receive that. Shame has to let go the moment you acknowledge who you are. Guilt has to back off the moment you understand who you are. Yes, we made mistakes, but we are not mistakes. Amen? Stop praying according to you. Proper prayer is remembering what God has done, not what you have done. That's proper prayer. We're talking about prayer. We're talking about praying according to the word of God. Proper prayer is what he's done. It's all about what he's done, not what we've done. Praying in the spirit taps into the mind of God. How many know my, God's mind is better than your mind? How many know his ways are better than our ways? Now, knowing that God's ways are higher, his ways are better, his mind is sharper. I know some of you got brilliant minds. God's mind is still better. Listen to me. Don't limit what you need to your mind. In fact, to do that is to be selfish. The Holy Spirit is trying to get things to you in order to get them through you. The Holy Spirit has a worldwide purpose. 
Me, my four, and no more was never part of God's plan. Allow the Holy Family, if you have yet to take on the challenge of praying in the Holy Spirit more than you ever have, I'm challenging you now. I'm, I'm asking you. It works, right, Candace? It works. Pray in the Holy Spirit like never before. If you don't pray in the Holy Spirit, if you've never been filled with the Holy Spirit and, and, and have the evidence of praying in other tongues, please let us know. It is for you. God desires, because can we settle this? God's Spirit can pray better prayers than we can. Can we settle that? Why wouldn't you allow him to pray through you? Pray in the Holy Spirit like never before, more than ever. The plan that God has for your life has already been laid out. When we pray in the Holy Spirit, the path gets illuminated of how to get into and to begin to function in that plan. Yes, sir. You know, depression is not normal. There is somebody who has given in to the idea of this is just the way it is. The Spirit of God wants you to know that that is not normal. You can have joy and peace. God is he's desiring to, to free you. And I don't know your name, sweetheart. What's your name? What is it? Sochi? God has so much in store for you. God wants you to know that you are not what you've gone through. And what he has put in you, he is bringing out of you to help those around you. And the moment you let go and say, okay, your, your yes is going to minister life to so many people. He's never blamed you. All he has is, is, is love for you. So be bold enough to step out and do what God is saying to do. That makes sense to you? Freedom is the fruit of every believer. Every one of us can walk in the things of God unhindered by anything the enemy has put up in front of us. Family, I keep yielding. His intent is for every one of us to be absolutely free before we leave here today. That's what he's after. He's after each one of us. Clean hearts. Fertile grounds. That he can begin to just harvest. Some of us are a spirit-led prayer away from total victory. You're an encounter away from God taking that off of you forever. That heaviness is not normal. He died in order for you to walk in absolute freedom. 
You don't have to hold on to anything. It doesn't matter how familiar it's been. It doesn't matter how long it's been there. You can walk in absolute freedom today and never look back. You can begin to step into the destiny that God preordained years ago. Choose it. Choose it, family. So much available. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name forever. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is saying, tell them to let me. Open the door and I'll step in. Thank you, Lord. Trying to get back to my notes. You know, there's there's just I don't want the natural. I'm just it's not enough. What you need for your your business, Ron, is on the inside of you. It's supernatural coming out that's going to impact. What you really want is, is for the Lord to minister to those who come across your path. And, and that's what he's going to do. Keep yielding the plans to him. Keep saying, what do you say about this, Lord? Begin to, begin to interact with the Holy Spirit like your partner. Be, begin to take every decision before him and the 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 insight is going to flow like never before you're you're you're, you're going to operate beyond your your ability mentally you're going to you're you're going to come up with things that haven't been come up that haven't been told the holy spirit desires to use you in your field to be not only innovative but 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 to be transformational let them let them when you guys sit down and, and brainstorm start asking the question what's the lord say about that what chapter what verse and watch what happens sweatless victory you're gonna walk in you're gonna walk in effortless sweatless victory thank you lord First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. Now, typically, I've always used this as a communion uh, text. And there are some things that jumped out. It, it says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. Verse 24 says, And when he had given thanks, we, we, we learned in this series that giving thanks is a supernatural act. He broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me, verse 25 says, and in the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Verse 26 says, and as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread and drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner, I want you to underline that. If you have something you can underline that with. Will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Verse 28 says, but let man, but let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup for he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner, I like that, underline that, eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. I want you to pay a special attention to the not discerning the Lord's body piece. And then verse 30 goes on to say, For this reason many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep that many sleep is talking about many die now try this on what if 
not discerning the Lord's body was not getting a revelation of what the Lord has provided for us. What if the unworthy manner was the mindset of not deserving what took place with the Lord's body on the cross? What if it's talking about seeing ourselves unworthy? What if the mindset of not seeing ourselves unworthy, seeing ourselves not deserving, what if that mindset is the reason that many are sick? Many have died. What if we are hindering the mindset of what took place from Jesus' broken body? What if you and I have been counting ourselves unworthy and not receiving the power that took place when the body was broken, when the blood was shed? Family, you are God's choice. You're God's. Jesus paid for you to be free from sin and for you to be free from sickness. If your mindset is I don't deserve it, do you receive it? Many are sick. Many sleep. I submit to you because many have counted themselves as not deserving or unworthy. What we have to do and settle forever is detach his goodness to our behavior. Forever settle it. He's good no matter what. If it's good, it's from God. If it's bad, it's from the devil. It's from the enemy. John 10.10 10 splits it right down the middle. The thief came to take. Jesus came to give you abundance. Raise your hand and say, Lord, I deserve it. Lord, I am worthy. Lord, I receive all you have for me. I receive abundant life. I receive goodness and mercy. I have it now in Jesus' name. Now someone shout unto the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name forever. I am probably not going to finish. Say what Jesus says about you. Be begin to separate how you feel to what is true. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Thank you for your supernatural, miraculous power flowing in this place right now. Father, thank you for your anointing. Thank you for grace deposits and truth impartation. Thank you, Lord, for those who have yet to grab hold of how much you love them. Show them. Show them. Open their eyes. Show them how much you love them. Father, thank you for your anointing. 
yoke destroying anointing. For the individual who has just been feeling heavy, raise your hand. That that heaviness. We're gonna pray and 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 release that. We're gonna we're 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 going to believe God together. Raise was there more than just one? Um, I need some prayer warriors to go over there and, and, and lay your hands on them. We're going to pray and agree. Is there anybody else? You've just been feeling a heaviness. Raise your hands again, please. We can have somebody come and pray with you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Pastor Jerry, come. There you go. Lay your hands on them. Thank you, Lord. That heaviness has to go. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. If you need healing in your body, raise your hand. Anything that is not put in you by God is trespassing, and you can be healed today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is not okay for sickness and disease to trespass and be in your body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your anointing. We choose right now, Father, to not limit you. We know that you are well able to take care of every need in the house. If you've been dealing with depression while every head is bowed and every eye is closed. I want you to raise your hand. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I need somebody to come pray over here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That is that that is to be taken off of you today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your anointing. If you pray in other tongues, begin to pray in other tongues now. Thank you, Lord. Every need met. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your anointing destroying every yo. We speak against depression, sickness. It must bow down to the name of Jesus. Hope, healing, Faith and strength rise now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. We thank you for your anointing flowing in this place. Thank you, Lord. Every need met. Every need met. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. If you have a need and you're watching online, please let us know so someone can be in agreement with you. Thank you, Lord. We know that there is no time, space, or distance in the spirit realm, and the same anointing that's in this building can can minister to you. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. We come against fear, doubt, unbelief. We call forth movement, health, healing, strength. Every body part functioning as it as if it was created to function thank you lord we thank you for doors open that no man can shut we thank you lord we honor you lord we value your word we thank you for hearing and answering our prayers we thank you lord that there is no unmet needs wisdom peace pastor jerry lay hands on ron for me peace wisdom strength rise up in the name of jesus peace wisdom strength rise up in the name of jesus functioning beyond your years beyond the natural beyond your know-how Supernatural utterance flowing like never before. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the benefit of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the help 
of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory. Every need met. 